What's up guys, Cornered here. Today we're going to be unboxing a 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch with Retina display. And for those of you who are wondering why did he purchase an Apple product? Well, in reality, I guess I did somewhat purchase it, but it came back through taxes. So that's part of the reason. The other reason being is that I love to do music editing. And for those of you who say that you can do it on a PC, you are absolutely positively correct. You can record on a PC. It's just in some ways, it's, it's a little bit more difficult, and in other ways, I just would like a new laptop, and to be able to run Windows 10 on this thing, it looks nice, and to be honest with you, it just basically will work for what I need it to do. So that's why I got this. Thank you, Texas. So, let's go ahead and unbox this thing right now, and we'll take our wonderful unboxing knife. Dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. There. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. Just put this down here. So, among the many reasons why I decided to to get this is, again, for, for a lot of video editing for you guys, because I haven't haven't really done enough of that. So, um, pardon me while I unbox this thing. I don't want to show you guys the cereal in the back for obvious reasons. But you can still stand looking at a pretty white wall of nothing. Um, plus, you know, I had a, I had a 2009 Mac, which was on its last legs, so another reason to simply do this. So let's go ahead and take the wrapping off here, and we'll unbox this, hopefully, properly. So, and again, excuse my arm, I need to get some better film equipment too, that's another thing I should do with this return, but... I got this as well, which actually didn't put too much of a dent. So, here we are with the Mac here. It's nice and light compared to the previous models. It's it's actually pretty thin, too. It's, it's very nicely thin, so we'll get to that in a minute while we go over this. So, we've got the standard power supply that they now give you. Um, and they do give you, which is nice, we'll just put this off to the side here, they do give you a extender, which is much appreciated, especially considering the price of this notebook, which I think is a little overpriced, being an Apple product, that it is, but it is running OS X, and you paid for it, so, and I paid for it. So, let's go ahead and see what the heck is in here. So, this contents hasn't really changed much. Let's just see here. MacBook Pro, yada yada, screen cleaner, yada yada. Uh, standard everything here. You know, you got your standard MacBook Pro info and your Apple stickers, which you get with everything. But obviously, the star of the show is going to be this. So, again, this is... This is pretty much as far as what you're concerned with is the MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and unbox it here, and I'm going to turn it on, see if we get that old MacBook logo. Now this is the wonderful seal that you have to break in order to get at it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that. So let's go ahead and take that up. Now one thing that's missing, I think, from these is that they don't light up. As you can see, that's just pure metal here. So let's go ahead and turn it on, and that's very nice here. We got that. So power button's a physical button, which is the change in the MacBook 2009. We'll just start this thing up, and you've got the standard Apple logo booting, and I just want to see if it's anything different. They used to have a little logo screen. It's been a long time since I've done this. And oddly enough, they've got this right here basically feels like I'm physically clicking even the motion of clicking is there for the main language. but the at the same time it feels like a real keyboard so this is this is quite nice and the display is beautiful but it's basically a 1280 by 800 display which kind of stinks but it's been optimized for the pixels so I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my password which I will not show not that it matters one's going to be around my area, but do that. Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, I need a wonderful adapter because this doesn't support 
gigabit Ethernet, which kind of sucks. So it, it supports 802.11ac, but it doesn't support gigabit Ethernet unless you actually um, go ahead and buy an adapter for that, which kind of stinks. Apple trying to make money, as always. So let's not transfer anything right now. I'm going to sign in with my Apple account. And that's pretty much it, guys, as far as the overview of this unboxing. I just figured I'd show you guys it booting up and unfortunately it didn't give us anything perfect just a sign in so thank you guys again for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up i'm going to give it some try in regards to as far as content production for youtube that's part of the reason why i got this because they actually do a pretty good job of that so all right guys thank you guys very much for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you dislike the fact that i got a mac give it a thumbs down you're more than welcome to as well so thank you guys very much and i'm still going with pcs i'm still using pcs i just happen to be using both platforms so thank you guys again for watching this video and i will see you in the next video